This is literally some stranger's luggage. I have no idea what's inside. Ah! Oh, wow. Oh my God, no way. Oh, there's a hair in it. We have hit jackpot. What is that? What the hell? This is definitely the weirdest thing of the whole suitcase. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Have you guys ever lost your luggage at an airport and wondered what the heck happened to it? Did a stranger pick it up? Did it never even make it on the plane? Or is it literally just floating through time and space in another dimension now? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be diving into this very topic because I purchased someone else's lost luggage at an auction. Now this video concept is definitely not my own. I've been seeing a lot of American YouTubers do this recently, such as Hope Scope and Sophia Nygaard. Apparently in America, it is pretty common to have actual physical stores where they actually sell lost and unclaimed luggage. Here in the UK, that is definitely not a common thing at all. We do have some selected kind of auction houses that will sell off lost and unclaimed luggage. For example, the likes of Greasby's Mulberry Bank or even Weller's auctions. And that's pretty much how I personally got into possession of this luggage right here. This is literally some stranger's luggage. I have no idea what's inside and we're gonna open it in this video together. I do wanna let you guys know that I have personally been in this situation where an airline has lost my luggage on the way to a holiday and let's just say it wasn't the best experience ever. But over the years that has made me wonder where is my favorite makeup? Where are my favorite dresses that were all in my luggage? What happened to all that content? Before filming this video, I did some deep diving and apparently an airline on average will have like 90 days to pretty much try to return the suitcase to its original owner. If after 90 days they cannot do it, they just cannot find the suitcase anywhere, they will actually reimburse the owner with money and they will then take those suitcases that they can't find their owners and they will pretty much sell it off to an auction. It is kind of sad though because obviously people mostly travel with like their best clothes, best possessions, favorite things. But personally I do like this idea of giving these suitcases and these items a second life and not just sending them off to landfill. So at the end of the day, I do consider this whole thing of being able to buy people's lost luggage as a good thing rather than a bad thing, but let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. So before we dive into this mystery luggage and open it on camera, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. It's free and the button is right down below. But I guess without further ado, let's crack on into this suitcase. All right guys, so here is the suitcase. I have been literally dying to open this ever since I won it at the auction. I think I ended up paying like 20 pounds for this, which I mean, isn't the most expensive, but if it's literally just a pile of unwashed socks inside, then I probably would have wasted my money. So the way that things work at this particular auction that I went to was that they had it sort of like all the suitcases in one room and they had like different categories. So this one was labeled under as women's clothes. So that's why I went for this one. You then pretty much wrote down the lot number that you wanted to bid on. And then you went into the bidding room. I didn't actually film anything in there because it was a little bit weird. It was filled with like mostly elderly people. But yeah, I managed to win this one I mean it's not in the best condition it has a lot of rips here and there especially right here being at this auction really made me think of the saying judging a book by its cover because everyone can only see the outer case but not the contents like no one knows what is inside these so you're pretty much bidding on a lucky dip like you have no idea what could be in here so let's crack it open because the anticipation is killing me all right let's open her up Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm either gonna get some like designer clothes in here or I'm gonna waste my money. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh wow. Okay. Okay. It's looking kind of promising. What have we got in here? Okay, so first things first. We've got some toiletries. What have we got here? Oh my gosh, this feels a little bit like kind of gross because I don't know where any of this stuff has been. I probably should have got gloves. Before the airports actually sell these off to the auction houses, I'm pretty sure they have to do some kind of like health and safety checks to make sure there's like no illegal substances. So fingers crossed it's all gonna be good. Okay, first things first, we have a sun lotion. We have a Australian gold mineral lotion, non-greasy. Factor 50, okay, so this girl is clearly looking after her skin. Okay, we then have a Venus Snap Razor. Oh, there's a hair in it. Okay, that's definitely been used. It was so hairy. I'm binning that straight away. Um, What have we got next? I should probably remove this. It's a toothbrush. It doesn't look used. It actually looks brand new. It's a bamboo toothbrush, okay. Oh my God, no way. 
It's a designer perfume. We have hit jackpot. Oh my gosh, it's actually a YSL perfume. This is the Mon Paris and it's like half full. No freaking way. Oh, it smells good. I hope you don't mind. Whoever the suitcase belonged to before, I hope they don't mind. I kind of want to create like a personality for whoever's suitcase this was. Should we call her like Caroline? Let's call her Caroline. So this is Caroline's suitcase, everybody. We are just going through her toiletries right now. What else have we got in here? Caroline clearly has good taste because she has a YSL perfume that smells freaking amazing. And these are quite expensive too. I'm pretty sure they're like 40 or 50 pounds. Okay, what have we got next? We have a L'Oreal Mascara, ooh. This is the Volume Million Lashes Mascara, okay. We also have a Lee Stafford Mini Dry Shampoo. We've got a Lee Stafford Holiday Hair Hero. These look like brand new, like they haven't even been used. And then lastly, we have a shampoo from Pure Herbs. Never heard of that brand, but again, it looks brand new. And lastly, we have a lipstick from Maybelline. This is in the shade Honey Beige. Okay, Caroline is good taste. This has been used, I can confirm. As we go through this case together, I want you guys to write like a story of who Caroline is, how old is she, where is she from, what's her profession. I want everyone in the comments to kind of write their own story about who they think that this case belonged to. Okay, first things first, I see a book. So clearly Caroline was gonna do some reading. This is called Lily's War by Shirley Mann. Looks pretty interesting. We have a pair of shoes. Okay, I feel a little bit weird holding these up because someone's feet have been in these. Actually though, they look brand new, what the hell? They literally look brand new. I mean, maybe not on the front, but on the bottom, they look like no one's been walking in these. So maybe they are new. We have a brown quilted handbag. <gasps> Wait, this has a tag on it. Is it brand new? What the hell, girl? She did some holiday shopping before she left for her holiday and she didn't even take the tags off. But to be honest, that is something I would do. I would just like go shopping at Primark and like not take any of the tags off. This is quite a cute bag. I mean, it's not like my personal taste, but it's all right. It's giving me kind of like Chanel vibes ever so slightly. It feels like real suede though. Let's see the tag. The natural markings of this genuine suede leather enhances the beauty of your new handbag. Okay, so this is real suede. Definitely not something that I would buy being plant-based, but that's okay, that's okay. No judgment, Caroline. What have we got next? We've got a bright yellow jumper. Are you joking? Isn't Hype quite expensive? This is in size 10, so it's gonna be a little bit more like oversized on me. But oh my goodness, this is actually really cute. How much are Hype jumpers? I swear they're like 40 pounds plus. Us. Like they're not a cheap brand. So already I've made my money back. In fact, let me Google this right now. How much is a hype hoodie? Okay, these hype hoodies are like between 30 to 40 pounds depending on what style it is. I think this might be an old style because I can't find it anywhere, but I mean, it's really good quality. So I'm really happy about this. Ooh, what is this? We have a little dress, a little summer dress. That's actually kind of cute. I genuinely feel like I kind of hit jackpot with this suitcase because although this doesn't fit me, it's all in a size 10. It's pretty similar to like what I would actually wear. This is in a size 10 and it's from Divided, which is by H&M. Oh my gosh, this dress probably would have been like 30 or 40 pounds originally. It's so cute. I really, really like it. I'm actually gonna give this away to my mom because I feel like she'll like this a lot. What have we got next? I actually see a handbag, another handbag. <gasps> there is stuff inside it. Oh my God. There's actually quite a few things in here. Is that money? First things first, it's actually kind of a cute bag. I mean, it's a nice little beach bag. It's got like a natural kind of vibe to it. Oh, we have some uh, Nurofen Express, okay. We then have this like middle pocket, which I mean, it sounds like it's filled with coins. So let's open it up. What is in here? Yes, it's just coins. Let's see. Ooh, we have a bunch of euros. That's gonna be perfect for when I next go away. We actually have five euros worth of coins in here. So that's definitely gonna come in handy. Okay, so that's the bag done. What shall we move on to next? I think I just saw something that could potentially be really valuable. Oh my God. Is this a Gucci top? Is this a Gucci top? Are you kidding? 
Are you kidding? Hang on, is it actually real? <gasps> no, it's a fake. Oh no, I got so excited. It's from a brand called JHK. I'm a little bit sad. I was really hoping this was gonna be a real Gucci t-shirt. It looks pretty good though, like, I mean, it looks just like the Gucci t-shirt, to be honest. Let's just say Caroline had good taste, but she didn't want to splurge 250 pounds on a Gucci t-shirt, so she got the fake one, and there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like me and Caroline are like spirit animals, because I would also do that. Anyways, it's quite a large, like, oversized Gucci t-shirt, so, I mean, I'm gonna wash this and I'm definitely gonna use it. I mean, so far, so good, but let's see what this thing is. This has really caught my eye ever since the start, and I have no idea what it is okay so oh this is a jacket okay this is from a brand called yoho fashion and it's basically like a lace jacket with like denim accents quite an interesting piece of clothing and then is that a matching skirt oh gosh it's a matching skirt okay i feel like i had a pretty good like idea of who caroline was but this has completely just thrown a spanner in the works i have no idea what her personal style is anymore this is definitely a very strange little attire like where would you wear this caroline anyways i mean it's interesting who am i to question it all right who am i to question it next up we have this black thing here what is this Oh, it's a dress. This is actually kind of cute. Look at that. It's like a little black dress and then it has a bow on the side. It's kind of made of like a faux satin kind of fabric. This is kind of cute. This is from a brand called Bay. Never heard of that brand before. It's in a size 10. And yeah, this is what it looks like. I wonder where Caroline was gonna wear this. It feels pretty good quality and it's got like boning on the inside. So, I mean, it's kind of cute. All right, let's move on to the next thing. We actually have a pair of shoes, another pair of shoes. These are actually really cute. They're not gonna be my size though, they look big. This is what they look like. They're just like a white strappy pair of heels. And these are in the size 39. I'm not too sure what size that is. I'm pretty sure it's like size eight. Are these size eight? They look pretty large, but they are nice. And are they used? They look pretty new actually. They look new to me. Maybe Caroline tried them on once and then she decided she was gonna purchase them. Okay, we have a few things left. What is that? What the hell? What is this doing at the bottom of the suitcase? I'm so confused. Like, why is this in here? I'm so confused. I literally just picked this up and then underneath it was this freaking Joker thing. That is so creepy. Oh my gosh, the plot thickens. Who is Caroline? Did she have a secret child that she was going to visit in another country and then she took this for them as a gift. That's a weird gift for a kid though. It's like a whole full-size figurine of like the Joker. Ooh, they've got loads of different ones on the back. They've got Batman, they've got Robin, they've got Mr. Freeze. I'm actually gonna keep this. This is kind of cool. I like this. This is definitely the weirdest thing of the whole suitcase. Anyways, onto the actual piece of clothing that I was picking up. We have another dress. This is kind of like a breezy summer kind of dress. It's made of like linen, it's quite see-through. This is in the size small, and I don't think it has a brand. Does it have a brand? Oh, it's from Accessorize. Is that brand even a thing anymore? I swear they like went out of business, no? Anyways, it's kind of cute. It's not really my style, but I'm probably gonna give this away to someone. And lastly, we have two more items. We have, I think, a skirt and a top. So the top is just a white kind of tank top, I guess. It's from a brand called Two Woman in the size 10. I think that's a Tesco's own brand. I'm pretty sure Caroline was British, okay? Because there's a lot of like signs that she was. She's got an accessorized top. She's now got a Tesco's own top. So, I mean, she's probably from the UK. Anyway, this is the top. I mean, it's just a simple tank top. And then we have this skirt, which is from New Look. Oh, she's definitely from the UK. Like, <laughs> New Look, definitely. So this is the skirt. It's actually kind of cute. It looks a little bit like a school skirt, but it has got that like slit. So potentially might fit me, I guess we'll see. It's got a zipper in the side and then this is in the size 10 as well. I actually feel like we got some pretty decent clothes in this suitcase. There's a few things that I'm a bit like, okay, that's not really my style, especially 
this thing. But there are a few pieces that I would actually wear, such as this dress, if it was in my size. I'm definitely gonna keep the fake Gucci top. The hype hoodie is definitely a cute one that I can definitely get some use out of. But I've gotta say my favorite thing from the whole suitcase is definitely the perfume. This is one thing that I'm definitely gonna use because like, it's a perfume. On Boots, this perfume retails for almost 60 pounds. That is ridiculous. But like, just by this one item alone, I've pretty much made my money back because I only spent 20 pounds on this suitcase. So that is everything inside the suitcase. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite and what you think I should do with everything. I'm probably not gonna keep it. I might donate some of it to a charity shop. It was definitely a really weird feeling opening someone's luggage, that's for sure, because they literally like packed this and had full intention on taking this on holiday. But obviously life had a different plan for them and now it's in my house. All right guys, so that was my experience of buying a lost suitcase at an auction. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna find a treasure or if I was gonna find someone's dirty underwear It was actually kind of stressful. That is why I only did one suitcase in this video However, if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it I would definitely purchase more in the future Maybe we'll have more chances of finding some nice treasure in there if I get more of them Let me know what you guys think of that idea and if you want to see a part two to this video But as always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video I really appreciate every single one of you and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video Bye! Mwah.